to the Unitex stock manipulation case, Bloomberg TV India learns that the Mumbai wing of the CBI Economic Offences Wing has now referred the case to the securities regulator. Well, this after the CBI officials closed the prelim inquiry, citing that it did not find any criminality. Prena Barua has more details and she's uh, joining us now. Prena, tell us what's happening at this point of time. Well, even as the Central Bureau of Investigation had found no criminality in the Unitech stock manipulation case, what Bloomberg TV India has learned is that the CBI has now written to the market regulator SEBI to probe the case further. SEBI will now look into violations of SEBI Act by Unitech, if any, and will take the investigation forward. Remember, the Supreme Court had last year ordered CBI to probe into the alleged hammering of Unitech shares as part of the Nira Radia tape scandal. The CBI had registered a preliminary inquiry on the case and had interrogated officials of Unitech, including Sanjay Chandra and Neera Radia. To give you a background of the case, Unitech shares had plunged about 50% and had touched its all-time low during intraday trades in October in 2008. Remember, Unitech figures many times in the Neera Radia tapes in matters relating to manipulation of its shares, default on loans given by Tata Realty and 2G Telecom Spec from allocation, which prompted the Supreme Court to ask the CBI to look into the case. After preliminary inquiry, the CBI had submitted its status report citing that no criminality had been found. So now the SEBI's findings into the alleged share manipulation case will be closely watched. Also, in response to Bloomberg TV India's query, Unitech had no comments to offer in this matter.